Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Cinematic Atmospheres Toolkit from Frozen Plane. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video down below, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so here we're going to check out the Cinematic Atmosphere Toolkit. This is from Frozen Plane, and this runs in their own standalone sampler called Mirage. So you won't need contact or anything like that to run these libraries. So we're going to go over here and load in Mirage, and here is the basic uh, interface. You're going to have a little browser right here. And you'll be able to select from the six different libraries that are included in this bundle. And it's going to give you a little bit of information about each one. So really, you can just load up each one. And you'll notice we'll have three layers here. And there's different uh, controls for each layer. We have the main, which is the envelope, filter. We have EQ, MIDI, such as uh, transposing, stuff like that, velocity mapping, LFOs and then loop. Set the loop points for this particular sustained uh, note. And so we can have each of those going on. You can have one layer or enable all three. We're also going to have some effects over here. Just click on the effect. It will kind of minimize it and you'll be able to see them all. So if you want to turn on delay, you can turn it off and on just like that, or you can click it and get the more detailed controls there. So let's check out some of the sounds and hear what this thing has to offer. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was listening to some of the sounds from each of the different libraries. But you can also go here, go back to the main interface here. Um, you can also go here and load up some presets that are going to make use of all of the three different layers as well as the different effects and everything. So you notice how I loaded up a single library um, and we would get different sounds here. So you can click this and you're going to have different sounds. So let's say for go back to dream states, so you click here, you're going to have different categories as well from chords, atmospheres, one shots, instruments, and then sequences. So let's check out one of the sequences. This is called airy sequence. So you can hear, you know, there's kind of variations, uh, little melodic notes and shifting going on in there as well as some harmonies. So definitely go into each one of these. They're going to be different for each library, but the actual sound sources. So just click on one of these. You can, you know, mute these and I and uh, sample them one at a time, kind of audition them. Or you can obviously combine three different layers at once, whether it be chords, instruments, sequences, anything like that. So then let's make use of also the presets here. Since we've heard some of the sounds from each library, let's listen to some of the presets here. So when I click this, let's say abstract system, you'll notice it goes to feedback loops. So these presets are for the entire cinematic toolkit, and they'll make use of every single library that's over here, all six of these. So let's check out some of the sounds here.
All right, so those were some of the sounds from each of the preset categories. So again, if you go in here into the factory presets, you're gonna have different menus here with different presets in these different categories. But also remember, you can simply load up a library and then audition each sound one by one just by scrolling through here or click in here and you'll get different categories from one shots, uh, which will be, you know, the shorter sounds and then the sustains, which will be the longer loop sounds. Also, you can determine the exact looping points in the sustain notes or any of the notes, but that's a nice addition as well to be able to go in here and adjust that. So all in all, there's a ton of really nice sounds. I think this excels with those kind of weird, creepy textures, but there's also some nice kind of beautiful stuff um, within dream states. But again, they're mostly kind of haunting uh, textural noise and stuff like that. Very unique and some really awesome sounds there. You'll notice in a lot of those, I was playing with the filter as well as the convolution down here, which will be that convolution that gives it, you know, a huge sense of space to turn... Uh, uh, depending on which IR, the impulse response that you load. So they're going to go from like two seconds, airy one up to five seconds shimmer. And there's always going to be something more to add with those different convolutions. I like messing around with them a lot, but you may not. So just something to keep in mind, a lot of experimentation to be had here with this bundle and some really amazing, weird, creepy sounds as well. So thanks for checking this one out with me. I will see you guys next time.